Good morning, everyone. This Spectator for Kavana and the last one, number 10, is dedicated to the memories of Lucy, Maya, and Rina D. Hashem, Gikom, Damam. The last advice of the Shlon, the name of the Derech Achayim, is what we call in Hebrew Zman, or in English, timing. Namely, how long does it take you to have Kavana? I'm going to first quote his words, and then I'm going to add in the opposite from my own mind. And obviously his words you probably take into consideration more than what I'm going to have to say. He says, and I quote, that today when I go to Minyan, it's not enough time. They daven too fast. And therefore, I don't have enough kavana. You have to have the amount of time needed for kavana, and it's more time than a normative Minyan. Indeed, if I can quote my dear friend David Novoseller, he once said, and I give him the copyright, that sometimes he goes to shul and the chazan davens faster than he can skip. And I'm sure you've had that situation from time to time. But I would say that today, we also have the opposite. We have a shul that's davening at a certain pace, say the majority of people are davening at pace number X, and the chazan's taking X plus three. When you have dead time in davening, that's as worse as having no time. Namely, when you have extra time, you do things that you probably shouldn't do during davening. And therefore, it's not a good idea for a chazan that's a bit too slow for the majority of the congregation to be a chazan. Just like it's not a good idea for a chazan that's too fast to be a chazan of the congregation. Timing could be everything. And therefore, one of the most important things that you should remember when you're asking yourself about kavana during davening is timing. Am I davening too fast or too slow? Too fast, you won't have the time to concentrate on every word. Too slow, if I can quote the Kotzka Rebbe, if you have kavana during davening, daven fast, because the kavana will leave you very quickly as well. So we have now finished 10 different ideas about kavana during davening. God willing, tomorrow we start a new series about being a chazan, wishing everyone a wonderful day.